Okay guys, so this is our basic form right there. But this little triangle in the bottom that is actually going to protrude out the bottom of the brick is what's going to be the element that ties this whole thing together. Um, and when we take these apart, we're going to take them apart after they've just cured for a day or two. And we want to be able to take this form off. Um, that's a really thin area right in here. Uh, and besides, that's the whole element that holds the whole wall together. When you put another one beside and then one sits here, that triangle will lock it in. So you want it to have some strength. So I just decided to take um, some, some steel fabric. This stuff is cheap. A whole sheet of it, like three foot wide by eight feet long, was six dollars and seventy seven cents. So it's a, I think it's a really wise investment. So let's just fold this in half. We'll just kind of eyeball it and fold it right in half. Take, we want that right on our seam where we folded it. And then we'll just bend these apart and just kind of round them out a little. Make it look like the triangle in there. What do you think, babe? It looked like it. Pretty darn close. Yeah. Put this here. All right, I have one here for you, bud. I gotta fold it in half. It's half. Like that. And then I need you to pound that edge flat. Okay, you gotta hit it on the edge. And then daddy will, daddy will shape it like that, and it'll go in the form. <laughs> yeah, Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to infuse uh, straw to make it kind of a cob mixture for the raised uh, flower bed air creep mixture. I already got in trouble just for shaving off this little bit without Mrs. Honeydew filming me. I was just doing a test. I left it in the back of my truck. I mean, are you kidding me? I was gonna let her see some of it. But anyways, um, I just turn a straw bell sideways. I wanted the straw to mostly be about an inch or inch and a half thick or long. Uh, so it would be small pieces that would infuse in. Or hold some straw by your face. Oh, you want to get a thumbnail? Yeah. You want to get a thumbnail? Come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> You're off.
So it's been 24 hours. So I'm going to pull the, all you do is just pull this off and I put some scotch tape down the center so it wouldn't. There we go. Oh, you can tell a different color between the top and the middle. Ooh, there's hmm, some air pockets that you yeah. Wow, it looks awesome. Yeah. And so all we do to remove the bottom is just lift and pull. And then there's our perfect deal. We got to let that sit upside down. Now this doesn't smell as good as it normally does. What? Straw. <laughs> it usually has, just smells like the soap. Right. Okay, and there's our... Beautiful block. Our beautiful block, Aircrete and Cobb. And it's, I mean, it's light, it's aerated. Um, I mean, you can see some big pockets, but that's not going to matter. These are going to look beautiful when they're set beside each other. What do you think? It's awesome. And this is just setting overnight, 24 hours. Um, I'm just going to pour another set of them. Right there. They all do. So I need to be careful when I'm putting those in, when I very first pour them down into that little crack, we should take a dowel and, and, and probe it. Mm -hmm. And just make sure that that little area gets filled in. It's not gonna affect the blocks, they're gonna work fine just how they are, but. I'm just gonna pour another set of them and make 15 more blocks tonight. And then by the end of a week, we should have over 100 blocks and be able to build something kind of cool with them.